Hi folks, it's Max from uh, Nexus10root.com. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, reinstall the stock firmware, uh, basically unroot, unbrick your Nexus 10. For, for example, you install a custom ROM, you end up in a boot loop or something. Um, usually you can install another ROM, or maybe you're returning it for uh, warranty. Whatever the reasons, um, this will get you onto a totally factory uh, firmware. So go ahead and download the firmware uh, also. I'll, I'll show you. Um, Actually, first, you want to do is uh, reboot your your Nexus 10 into uh, the bootloader mode. So go ahead and hold down uh, volume up, volume down, both buttons, and also the power button, and wait until your Nexus 10 uh, resets, and you'll be in fast boot bootloader mode. You'll hear a little beep. Let go. Um, it'll say that. Go ahead and connect a micro USB cable uh, to your computer. And this you can you, you can do this on a uh, Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm going to use Windows, but I'll show you which commands to do uh, for Mac and Linux. So just go ahead and follow it. And let's go to our computer. Next, you'll need to download the uh, latest firmware. Um, I'll have a place where you can download it. Go ahead and download it uh, right now. There's actually only one as of this video, but there might be one for like 4.3 or 4.4. But I've got the 4.2 here. Go ahead and download this uh, Manta Ray blah blah dot tgz and uh, uncompress it if you don't have an uncompressor you can use like a 7-zip uh, or I'm using LZIP uh, which is a free program uh, if you google it you can find it and this will uh, uncompress all the files from the stock firmware uh, the radio the actual stock firmware image um, and also the bootloader those three things we can flash in fast boots um, and also while that's going Oh, there we go. Let me extract it. Wow, that's going. You also have to have the drivers installed. If you root it, um, your Nexus 10 before, uh, you already have the drivers installed. Let me show you how to check it on your Windows. For Linux and Mac, you don't need to. Um, you don't need those. And also, Linux and Mac, um, you shouldn't need a. You know, you should be able to extract it easily. I think it's built into the um, to the system. And there we go. That's gonna uncompress it. Uh, anyway, go to a uh, control panel while that's going. Let me show you uh, under device manager. Um, you should have something like Android bootloader interface just like there. If you don't, um, it should say uh, Android 1.0 or Manta. Go ahead and like double click it if, if this was Manta or whatever. Um, do update driver, browse my computer, uh, and then do let me pick from a list. Say all devices and uh, say have disk and browse to the to the actual drivers I'll have links to the actual drivers and then hit OK and you should be able to um, set it as Android ADB interface and uh, you should be all good to go so make sure you have drivers installed and uh, if you have drivers installed you're all good to go and uh, I uncompress these files and also you'll need to download a fastboot.zip and unzip it you get a folder called fastboot most likely in your downloads folder with a bunch of files uh, we'll need to copy some of the files from the firmware so go ahead and go to the firmware um, go ahead and get uh, these two files uh, select the .img and dot .zip and there might be also a bootloader um, if there is uh, also copy that copy anything with .img and dot .zip all right? I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it into my fastboot directory. All right. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal or a command prompt for Windows. Just type cmd in uh, the search window. And for Mac or Linux, if you don't know how to open a terminal, go ahead and Google it. Um, next, you're going to type cd downloads like that. Enter. Type cd fastboot. Enter. And same on Linux or Mac. And then you're going to type, um, let's see. We're going to actually flash these. The first thing you should flash is the bootloader. Um, so type fastboot uh, flash space flash bootloader space um, type bot and hit the tab key because it will fill in whatever file is in that directory. So that way you don't miss it. And hit enter. And this will flash the bootloader. Um, since I already have the bootloader, I didn't have to do that because it's the same bootloader. But if there's a firmware update, um, you can do this to update to a new bootloader first because you'll need to do that before you can flash the actual firmware. 
And also, if there's a radio file, uh, like radio blah blah dot zip, there might be in the future versions. Just do fastboot flash. Uh, oops, sorry. Also, you need to uh, reboot bootloader. So type fastboot space reboot uh, bootloader. You have to reboot every time you do this. So make sure you reboot. Wait for your uh, Nexus 10 to reboot into the fastboot bootloader mode. All right, it will reboot. And once it's rebooted, type fastboot um, space flash space and uh, radio. Um, and then hit the tap key but since we don't have a radio on this one we don't have to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next one uh, next one is we're gonna do fastboot space minus w space update space image and hit the tap key and that's that that's the actual stock uh, firmware image so go ahead and enter and also uh, for Mac and Win with Mac and Linux uh, here's what you gotta do while that's actually flashing I'll show you for all the commands I've been doing uh, simply change, like let's say fastboot flash a uh, bootloader, a uh, bootloader, blah 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 dot img right. So here for Mac, you'll need to enter dot slash like that and use the Mac version. And for Linux, you'll have to do that. So replace everything fastboot uh, in the commands I just did with dot slash fastboot dash Mac. All right. And if you get some kind of permission errors, um, that usually happens. So for Mac or Linux, just do, um, let's see, just do chmod755 star before doing any of the commands. And also, if you're having problems of permissions even after that, you can add a sudo in front of it. This will run all the commands as, um, as super user. So there you go. And uh, you can also do that for Linux. So that's the only difference with Linux and uh, Mac. But I have all the files in there, so you can use that. Um, and also, you can see it's almost done here. And uh, this will allow you to recover the stock system. It will install the stock recovery. It will install the stock uh, Android 4.2. Um, and also, you know, pretty much erases everything. So do make a backup before you do this. Actually, actually it does not erase the contents of your internal storage. Um, it does erase your settings and apps, you know, obviously, because it's a stock ROM. Uh, but otherwise you should be fine uh, but you know even then just do make a backup of your internal storage just in case alright and that's done and um, your Nexus 10 now should be on stock ROM and if you want to also relock the bootloader when you relock the bootloader loader, it's gonna erase everything in your uh, Nexus 10 um, you might want to do that if you're gonna return it for warranty you can put it back into the bootloader and type fastboot OEM lock right? That's for Windows, and for uh, Mac is just fastboot dash Mac, and also Linux like that. I'm not going to show you that since I don't want to erase everything on my, you know. Well, I'll, I'll show you that. Well, this will erase everything. Just just do this, and it'll lock it everything. Um, that's the next step. But I'm not. You can do it if if you really need to do it. Uh, I'm not going to show you that here. Sorry. Anyway, my my uh, tablet is rebooting, and uh, let me change the camera angle here. So there we go. I've got the start screen. I've got a totally stock um, stock ROM on here. That's how you can install the uh, stock firmware on your on your Nexus 10. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for, here, for me here, subscribe button up there. If you have a Nexus 10, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, nexus10root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Romlu Week tips, hacks, and more uh, eventually. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you need help with your tablet. And uh, thanks again. Um, and uh, have a great day. And that's how you do it. All right. See you all later.